I today get the pleasure of showing you a 46 foot Bay Point travel trailer. This is a mobility or handicap accessible unit with a power lift on the back. Uh, we got two air conditioners, on demand water heater, residential appliances, uh, two slide outs. So let's get started on this Bay Point uh, mobility unit. Uh, we're going to go to the front here. You can see your two 30 pound LP tanks, dual batteries. Also has a battery disconnect there for your lift system in the back. So if you're not using it, you can just shut it off and save the battery. This is a 96 inch interior ceiling height. It's all rubber roof. We are a two by two wood studded sidewall with 030 metal on the outside. You can see here you have your crank down jacks. This is your on demand water heater. And then you got a couple of big slides on the outside here. Drip rails, uh, two inch uh, drip tubes. Uh, all of our slides are one inch laminate of floors that are undercoated. They're rack and pinion slides, all electric. We use uh, Max Airflow 8800 series windows. They are tinted windows, 80% tint. You have three 7,000 pound axles there, G-rated tires. LED light above the termination system. This will be your rear bedroom slide. We're just getting ready to ship this one, so you may hear some uh, trucks and stuff in the background. I apologize for that. Over here, you're gonna have all your, your hookups, your city water, your 50 amp service, satellite and cable hookups and here you're going to have uh, your battery disconnect and all of your 50 amp and 12 volt system we put it out here in case there's ever a slide malfunction you're always assured to get to uh, the electronics you need to fix it you got your uh, bumper in the back spare tire Coming around to the camping side, this customer chose to uh, put two awnings on it. So you have power awnings with LED light strips. There's your 48 inch uh, entry door for the lift system. You have a 40,000 BTU furnace right there. The front here, they wanted a patio door. This is your uh, upgraded stainless steel mobility handle. Actually, you can see it comes all the way down to the first step, so you have plenty of stability getting in and out of the unit. And we're back up to the front again. So we're going to show you real quick here the uh, lift system. 48-inch entry door here. Give you a quick video of how this uh, operates. So that's in the travel position. Obviously, I just opened the door. got a little power center down here that you turn on and off I already had it on see that with a little green light indicator you just grab your remote control here and you're gonna see uh, unfold it's in the folded position now so you can be able to watch this unfold right out of the unit And it locks itself down. This is a Braun lift system. You can see it's got spotlights on it. If you're gonna get in and out at night. It's got a safety belt there. You can lock your person in. And then uh, we'll just bring her down. See how it's coming down gently. All the way down to the ground. And the flap comes down. You can wheel your person out then. We're going to go ahead and put this back in so you do everything in reverse. 
you bring it up everything folds back up itself and once it's reached to the top you can wheel your person in the chair in once they're all in and secure you can hit the fold button everything will fold itself back up and into the travel position that's the operation of it once you're done you want to hang your handle right back there you can shut off the power here or you can leave it on but you want to shut it off there to save the battery and you're in the travel position again and close the door There's the lift system. We can come down here and see the patio door. Here we're going to the unit with the patio door. Give you a quick scan of the living room. Ceiling fans, wide entry doorways. This is a slider door. Goes into the bathroom. Entertainment center. Big 55 inch TV you could put up there. See the patio door and the entry to the living room. This customer chose to uh, put their own dinette in it. So this dinette slide is actually uh, empty with uh, a dinette, but we're actually storing your 50 amp hookup, your LP bottle covers, sink covers so we're putting that in here in the way you can see the kitchen how we have all raised upper panel cabinets there those are an upgrade another ceiling fan lots of doors and drawers in the kitchen your uh, water heater button got the upgraded sink faucet here so it's got a pull out sprayer Nice deep stainless steel sink. Lots of counter space up in the front kitchen. If you'll notice here, we put the 20 inch residential style stove in here. And then uh, we've lowered the microwave so it is accessible with a wheelchair person. And we also have this handy slide out countertop here that somebody could uh, take something hot out of the microwave, position it on there, reposition their chair and go to eat the, the hot item. Notice how all your switches are down below at uh, wheelchair height. Makes it easier for uh, and more independent for the person in the chair. This is the upgraded stainless steel 18 cube refrigerator. So we get you a pan from the kitchen to the back. Another ceiling fan in the living room. This is the tri-fold sofa. Overhead storage. We left an opening for the person in the chair. We have a minimum of 30, 32 to 34 inch hallways. So that way a person in the chair can uh, get from front to back on their own. And also uh, we do double plywood floors. So if you had a motorized chair that's a little bit heavier, uh, you're not going to see any inflection in the floor as they roll across. Coming into the bathroom here, there's your uh, foot flush porcelain toilet. Storage behind it. You're going to see a uh, residential style sink and drawers on both sides. Nice big medicine cabinet. We also do a roll under, you'll notice here, a roll under sink so that way the person in the chair can uh, roll their chair underneath and brush their teeth do their makeup or whatever they need more storage here then behind these uh, doors here is a full-size stackable washer and dryer we use splendid uh, washer and dryers So 
So that's on board. They come already prepped and uh, hooked up and ready to wash. Now we'll move through another wider entry door here out of the bathroom area into the bedroom. There's your lift system, your Braun lift system folded up in the travel position or the non-use position. Got another ceiling fan back here. Place for a TV, drawers. Get you a pan of the inside here of the lift system and how it looks. Dresser drawers, a big shirt closet here. You have uh, storage up on top, folding clothes, hanging clothes. And we have more drawers down below. This customer also chose to put their own bed in here. So you're gonna see the bed slide here. And there'll be no bed. They chose to put their own bed in here. This fits a king size bed or a uh, medical bed. If you have one of those, we put outlets on either side so you can plug it in. Notice that we have opening windows all the way around. So you nice cross ventilation. Looking out through the front. You'll notice there's also an opening here where the uh, uh, roll in roll out shower would normally go. The customer chose to put their own uh, walk-in tub in here, so we just plumbed it for them, gave them adequate space to, uh, to have that put in at the site. So, I appreciate you watching the video. If you want to have uh, uh, any more information or find out where you can buy a handicap mobility unit, uh, you can call me, Rob Reed at 574-387-6252 or you can email me at rvprorobreed at gmail.com. I appreciate you watching the video and look forward to hearing from you soon.